Hi, I'm Abby Wambach, professional soccer player. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna teach you guys a little bit about what to do if the ball gets crossed to you. Uh, we're gonna go into a drill that's gonna train all the different surfaces of your body so that you can become comfortable with the ball no matter what direction or how it comes to you, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off real simple. Okay, we're gonna take two touches and play the ball back and forth to each other. The reason why we wanna take two touches is because oftentimes the ball comes in in a play in a way that's difficult and you need to get an actual good touch to settle it down before you kick it again. And then, as you get better at that, you wanna go into a one-touch ball, keep playing it back and forth. One, one time, good, good, good. And you always wanna to try to hit the other foot. That's always a way to challenge yourself. There's always ways that you can challenge yourself as, as an athlete. You always can try to be better, be better. All right. So now what I want you to do, part of the progression, is you pick the ball up and then you toss it to one foot and then the other. We're always trying to train both feet. I don't care how good your right foot is, your left foot has to be trained. All right, so I want you to hit it back to me first time. Good. Left foot. All right, one more time. Good. Now to challenge yourself, I want you to try to hit it back to me with your laces, like you're shooting it. Excellent, left foot now. Very good, all right. I'm gonna to toss you the ball, you catch it, all right? Play it to my thigh, we're gonna progress up into the thigh. Thigh again, now you switch feet. Thigh again, switch feet, all right. Now, ooh, I almost did a trick there. Now what I want you to do is throw it to my chest and the thing about when you take a ball off your chest is you can use it in two different ways. One, to trap it to yourself, or to two, which is something I often do, is I actually play it one touch to my teammates. It's a very deceptive pass. Uh, it's very difficult, and that's at the high level. So for right now, we're going to stick to the basics. I want you to toss it high up to my chest. And I'm going to chest it down to myself. I'm going to toss it high again. And then I'm going to volley it back. And see what I'm doing with my shoulders? I'm turning my shoulders as the ball comes in because there's going to be a defender in one way or the other. And you have to determine which way is going to be the best. All right, so uh, the next one, I'll show you how to do the, the chest pass. You just pass it with your chest like that. You get one shoulder into it and you move it, move it forward. And then, of course, you can throw me back the ball. You move to the header. Okay, head the ball right back to me. Good. Now I'm going to challenge you a little bit. Head it to my feet this time. Good. Now head it, try to head it over my head. Excellent. See how you take a different approach to it? The ball is a circle. Whenever you want to head the ball down or strike the ball down, you got to hit on top. Now imagine there's this imaginary line. If you want to hit it up or sky it or hit a long ball or head it over as a defensive header, over an attacker, hit it underneath. Um, all right, so I think that these are some very simple and basic tips you can do and use on the everyday soccer field to get better at crossing, at finishing, at receiving. I know it's worked for me. This is exactly what I did when I was your age. So the more you do this, the more you can be a pro. Here on Pro Tips.